let's talk about transgender where, you mm-hmm. know, the conversation with Disney saying, you know, sex ed by third grade and, you know, after third grade we do sex ed. And then uh, uh, I think Jen Psaki yesterday, if you want to put out what Jen Psaki said yesterday about transgender, I don't know if you saw that or not. Uh, uh, put uh, Jen Psaki uh, transgender uh, yesterday briefing. Yeah, if news. you can, huh? Solve for news. Yeah, solve for news. Uh, it wouldn't be March 31st. Go back to it because it was yesterday. It's April 7th. I want to say just type in news. Yeah. Uh, press briefing, press records. Uh, they're not even going to put it up there, are they? <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Can you zoom in a little bit to see if we have it? Yeah, let me let me find it. Okay, you find it. But meanwhile, what is your position with Disney coming out and then uh, uh, Disney saying that 50% of their characters moving forward within 12 months are going to be part of the LGBTQ community? What, what's your thoughts on that? Well, Disney's a private company. And it's a public people- company. I mean, I'm sorry. But, well, I mean, it's not the government. Okay. okay. I, I mean, it's it's the free market as opposed to government. So they can do whatever they want, and their customers can do whatever they want. And I've heard many people say that we are not going to continue to put our money into Disney. And I don't like what they're doing. Uh, but can I step back to the bigger transgender yeah. issue? Because Please. this is another issue in which... I think both the Democrats and the Republicans are basically wrong. Um, On the Republican side, many Republicans uh, are saying, you know, well, first of all, people are confusing sex with gender. Um, And to use a shorthand method, gender's between the ears, sex is between the legs. So, and yes, it is possible and I'm teaching this in class right now, it is possible to have the genitalia that do not match because of hormones prenatally, especially around the sixth and seventh week. So um, the Republicans um, act as though there's no such thing as being transgender, that you're basically just cross-dressing which is a different thing. The Democrats, on the other hand, act like 25% of the population is transgender, and now we gotta change all of our laws. I mean, it's less than 1%. It's one out of 1,000 people are transgender. So um, there is a, a, a sane place in the middle where we can say, yes, a very, very small minority of people are transgender, um, and why do we need to make laws about that? And oh, well, and see, this gets back to the, the don't say gay thing. That gets more into parents not having choice over their schools. And I can tell you that before age 10, kids are not thinking about any kind of sex. They they don't understand being attracted to another person. Um, even heterosexual eight-year-olds are not thinking about heterosexual sex. So why are we teaching, why are they teaching um, homosexual sex to eight years old, to eight-year-olds? It doesn't make any sense. But instead of having a law, what we need to have are schools that parents can um, choose to send their kids to in which the parents decide. And I do think that parents would overwhelmingly say, what do you mean you're teaching my seven-year-old about homosexual sex? That's just not even on the radar. So Jen Psaki says uh, 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 sex reassignment surgery, puberty blockers for kids is best practice. <gasps> states oh. states preventing it will be held accountable. So for you, no, that's if horrible. It, it is the libertarian position, let the person do whatever they want to do with their body or, you know, for nine-year-old wants to change their sex that should be okay what would your position be with that it the research is so clear that you should not do sex reassignment before age 16 18 at least uh many kids it it it, it really can be a phase in fact i just said that gender dysphoria is about one out of a thousand in the population some recent polls have, have shown that 
2% of high school kids think that they're transgender. Okay, that can't be right. So these are some people who think they are, but they're not. And so I believe that good medicine would win out in this case, that if you go to a medical doctor who's trained and who has read the research, they're not going to give you gender reassignment surgery. But the problem we have now is, once again, the government is over overstepping, and they're basically telling doctors, you have to do this. And, and what, you know, has Jen Psaki gone to medical school? Has she read the research? Has, has Biden read the research? So why do we have people who are politicians making these decisions? If you enjoyed this short clip, click over here to watch another short clip. And if you want to watch the entire episode, the entire podcast, click here.